guys welcome back to my channel guys today is tablescape tuesday and i'm going to be doing a table i consider it to be very bold i'm going you guys know that i like um mix matching pattern i have never done one like this and guys this is in celebration of a dearly friend matthew baller that is the son of the grace life diy happy birthday matthew i wish you the best in your birthday let god continue opening doors for you and blessing you and every door they open go right straight through it without even looking back just keep going because you know where you're going anyway guys so his request <laughs> which <laughs> is blue he wanted something with blue and white chinoiserie but you guys know they already kicked off the fall season decor so i'm going to marry blue and white china with fall decor how am i gonna do it i don't know how it's gonna turn out i don't know but we'll see we won't know if we never try it right and guys this collaboration is hosted by the grace life diy she is the main host of this collaboration and hosting with her is courtney from amethyst adventures Guys, I will leave both channels in my description box below so you guys can go and check them out. And also, please watch the playlist and watch everybody that participated. Make a nice comment. Give it a thumbs up. Guys, um, before I continue, also, I hope to see you in my fall is coming tea party, which is on the 22nd. So, guys, um oh my goodness let me see what i'm going to do i have no idea i just took out some things and i don't know i don't know so i'm going to start with <laughs> i'm going to start with um i'm going to use this as placement you know, you guys know that I usually use them this way, but this time I'm going to turn the silver looking down. Um, I'm doing a table for two. So, I'm going to do it like this or like this. If I do it like this, I won't have that much space on the center for what I want to do. So, we're going to do like this guys we're going to be bold i'm telling you i have never done this you guys know that i like mix and matching patterns but not these types of pattern so it's only one way to know right so that's what i'm going to do i hope matthew likes what i put together you know so people uh, plan what they're going to do. I don't. All right. With that, I'm going to be using. Oh, guys, I forgot to grab chargers. Oh, we got to grab chargers, guys. Hold on. Let me bring you guys back. I'm going to use this color. It's going to match, you'll see, even though it's a different, totally different blue, but it will match. So, let me put this right in the center. Guys, this is a big chance. I hope at the end it turned out nice. And whatever turns out, you guys are going to see here. I am not going to uh, act like, oh, it didn't work. No, I will let you know if it comes together or not. So I'm using this pattern. And guys, these plates are thrifted. 
I'm marrying that pattern with this other pattern and I'm using a salsa as a third plate. You guys are going to see. So that's what it's looking like. So let's place the other. <laughs> well guys, um, See these two patterns you see the edge of the plate is different this is the one that I meant to use so this is the one that we are going to use it has more blue in it and we are going to leave the what I think for the center let me change the plate <laughs> My plates are thrifted, the, the, the chargers are from the Dollar Tree. I will be using a glass mirror here and a glass mirror here. I'm going to marry blue, cobalt blue, with, it has colors on the bottom with my honeycomb glass. I'm going to place the glass on top of the uh, glass because like that it will oh how should it be now I think oh. which is a little challenging for me guys this pattern but like I said hopefully at the end it turned out okay <laughs> because I have never married two of these bold colors. So this is fall meat chinoiserie or chinoiserie meat fall. So what do you guys think so far? I think it's okay. All right, guys, with that, where I put my, oh. I will be using the rose gold cuddly they match with the fall colors like so and I will try to keep everything in the in the placemat I'm going to have probably I'm going to have a little bit of hard time doing the the center decor but I will figure that one out in a minute something I want to do something different but I have never done anything this different and then here I am using you guys can see blue and white napkins with the uh, fabric from the Dollar Tree hold on guys let me turn on this light With the fabric from the Dollar Tree has a little score there and I also have the blue and white napkin rings and I added a little pumpkin from the Dollar Tree so I will be adding that here like so and over here I did it backwards I did the fabric on the outside the blue and white on the inside and the same thing, a little pumpkin and my blue and white napkin ring. But I want the blue and white to show more. There we go. Okay. 
Okay. What else, guys? What else? Um, let's work on the centerpiece. I really don't know what I'm going to do in there. I have this brown scarf. Remember, I'm doing masculine, different patterns. So let me put this down and I'll bring you guys back, guys. Hold on. That's what it's looking like so far. Um, I, I went blank for a little bit, so it took me time to come back. So let's see what else. Um, um, where are my... Okay, I'm going to use, I thrifted this long time ago maybe about six seven years ago i don't think i have never used them in a tablescape and i guess i pay 99 cents but i never do i usually pay half price or whatever color tag but these are the ones that i'm going to use um and Okay, um, choo, choo, choo. I'm drawing a blind, guys. Well, let's bring the flower arrangement. So from there, we can work around it. So this is my flower arrangement. Arrangement fall meet chinoiserie. You guys can see. You know, I... You gotta try things, get out of the comfort zone. You don't know how things are gonna look. At least you try it. But I'm liking what I'm seeing. I'm liking what I'm seeing. I put a little blue here to bring everything also towards the uh, flower arrangement. Uh, what else? Let's see. I want to do a, I want to add some things here because I don't want it to look so plain. So I'm going to be adding fall decor. Um, I also have a little garland here that I want to use. The one that I used for the rustic um, candle holder that I created. So I'm going to be using it over here. I want to put it around the flower arrangement. You know, it is two garlands together. So I want to place it around it. Yeah, guys, you gotta um, get out of that comfort zone and mix and match patterns. You don't know how something is gonna look at least you try it. So, yeah. The only way you're going to know is by trying. I think I want to elevate my flower arrangement. Let's do that. Yeah, let's elevate the flower arrangement so I can add decor underneath. Yeah, I want to do that. Hold on.
Yeah, guys, let's continue. Okay, now we're going to be setting up our bedroom back here. Gonna set up our teapot because we're gonna have a celebration. Full teapot, brown in color. I do have a blue and white, but I don't want to set it up because I already have the um, blue and white plate. to bring the brown to the blue and white. I think it's coming out nice. Bold colors, but very nice. Also, I do have blue like this on the table and I will be adding um, this pumpkin as well. Okay. Matthew, I hope you like my table. Cream and sugar, vintage cream and sugar with the fall colors. So now I got to grab the candles that I want to use for here. And I want to bring my goodies. All right, guys, I decided to bring my royal um, blue cobalt blue so like that will have more lighting so yeah guys what do you guys think i think it turned out nice and the reason is if i think about what i'm going to do it will not work out i think it's bold i think it's uh blue and white chinoiserie mid fall uh they got to meet each other so i like it so yeah I hope you guys like it as well. So guys, you know what time it is. It's time to turn on those, those candles and turn off the lights and show you what it looks like. Let's do it. Well, guys, are you ready? This is what my table looks like from close. Here you guys go. I think it turned out nicely done. Bold colors. I think it's beautiful, mainly because it's for a men's celebration. So guys, there is my dragon chinoiserie vase with my chinoiserie plates and my espresso little cups. So the reason why I put it there is to bring the brown and everything towards the plate. I like everything to come together. There is my centerpiece. This is my cake cloach. So I took the top and I put my vase right on top of it. And these are some amber glass pumpkins that I thrifted many years ago. And the rest are from Dollar General and Dollar Tree that I already have. This one, what is it called? Gourds. I think it's called Gourds. This came from Hobby Lobby many years ago. So, yeah, guys. Anna, I think I nailed it. So, what do you guys think? Let me know. So, there it is. Again, from clothes. I think it looks very nice. Combine the colors. 
I have never done something like this, but I don't know. I guess it worked. I liked it. All right, guys, let me come over here and leave it like I always say. Be kind to one another. Don't forget to smile. Overall, stay safe, stay healthy. And remember, guys, God loves you. And Debbie also loves you, too. It will be into the next one. Happy birthday, Matthew. Bye-bye, guys.